I've got a UHF VHF matching transformer here and if you've done your research and watch YouTube you, you'll, uh, you'll know that it converts your 300 ohm antenna to your 75 ohm coax cable and of course what else it does is it separates your antenna from your cable in other words if you don't use one of these things your coax cable will become part of your antenna and so these things separate that so that your antenna will be your antenna and your coax cable will be your feed line but today I'm going to do an interesting experiment I've got uh, some freeware recording software and I have a uh, oh, where is it there it is I have a USB microphone I uh, cut the wires on cut the uh, the microphone off of it if you can hear that and just hooked it up to my computer and what I'm gonna do I was curious one day I wonder what my antenna sounds like hooked up to this thing so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hook this up to my antenna and make a audio recording of it There we go, all hooked up. And let's record. Whoops. Come on now. There. And you can see the waveform, that's the sound that's coming in. So do about 10 seconds of it. Alright. Where's the stop button? There. Now, now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to unhook it, and then I'm going to hook it to the end of this coax cable right here. And on the other end, I'm going to plug this in and hook it up to the antenna and do recording then. <coughs> Let's hook it up to our coax cable line. Alright, there we go. record. Nothing there. So apparently what this is doing is it's filtering out higher frequency signals. So our, our VHF lowest frequency is I think what 54 megahertz and of course this thing sound is recorded at about you know anywhere up as high as 20 kilohertz so that's a lot lower and so what this thing does is it 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 blocks out a lot of those lower frequencies and those lower frequencies are a lot stronger than the frequencies that you're receiving for from your television stations and so those lo strong low frequency signals your television is not designed to take that those kind of frequencies and so if you don't use one of these things your antenna will still work just fine but it's receiving a lot of other frequencies and garbage that your TV is not designed to use so it's good to have one <laughs> 